This is how I edit my talking head videos in five easy steps. First thing I do is I import the project from my phone into CapCut and I hit transcribe. CapCut provides me with the transcription of the video so that way I can go through the entire text and remove any filler words or takes that I had to reshoot. And manually remove any parts where I messed up and that should not be in the video. So just so you guys have an idea, my original video was slightly over four minutes long and when I'm done going through the transcription of the video, now the video turns out to be one minute and 20 seconds, which is a significant reduction. After I'm done transcribing my video, I go back to the beginning of the video and I go through and I polish off that transcription. I remove any additional dead space and I basically make sure that the script sounds like it's one continuous sentence versus several different little clips. Trim out the ends and the beginnings of each clip. Let's make sure that the entire script sounds fluid and it doesn't have any awkward pauses. Step three is to color grade and actually adjust the video. I head on over to adjust, I click auto adjust and I bring that setting down to about 50 or 60 percent. Don't forget to stretch that entire setting all the way from the beginning to the end of your video. Sometimes I also adjust the sharpness and sometimes saturation and also brightness of the video, but in this case, I didn't have to do Talking that. Talking head videos, sometimes I want to make sure that my face is looking alive, so I use the retouch function where I adjust my face, the even skin tone, and also the smooth skin tone, and the key here is to make sure that that is adjusted to about 10 to 20 percent. You don't want to overdo it. Now, the it. last step in the process is to make sure that your video is actually engaging and it keeps the viewer's attention for the longest time possible, so this is where the transition sound effects move movement comes in. I add transitions anytime a new concept is introduced. My preferred transitions are in the movement category. I also like to utilize the zoom effects. I personally like to use the jump zoom and also the slow zoom effects. The slow zoom effects can be achieved by adding keyframes to where you want the effect to start and also where you want it to finish. Simply add the first keyframe where you want the action to begin and then the second keyframe where you want the action to end. Here I'm actually going to add a zoom out effect where I'm going to add the keyframe and then I'm going to go to the the end of that clip add a second keyframe where I want the zoom out effect to end. It's the videos like this that just kind of pull everything together and make your videos that much more engaging. After that my video is all set and I'm ready for export and publishing my content. I export in 1080 and 30 frames per second with HDR turned off. Very important guys. You can actually see the final video on my TikTok. Thanks so much for watching. Five things I wish I knew about UGC sooner. Number one, the most underrated UGC skills that you can have is actually the skill of talking on camera. 